waste is, is a big problem. So the UK currently has 18 months to two years left of landfill capacity. And after that point, we've got no space to actually um, store our waste. So we really need to embed a circular economy principles of the four R's to recycle, reuse, repurpose or refurbish the materials to keep them in the supply chain. We need to be responsible and that's across all disciplines within the school, in fact all disciplines within the university. I'm absolutely thrilled that we've got a visiting professor from the Royal Academy of Engineering working with us over the next three years to embed carbon literacy in the curriculum. Carbon literacy is a, it's a really interesting phrase actually and it's, a, it's about applying a, a layer of, of knowledge um, into everything that we, we do now as, as human beings, particularly in design disciplines, making responsible decisions. We're making better and better choices as, as designers in the future. The most important thing for us was that we didn't want to replace anything that is in the curriculum already. This is about a fabulous, beautiful layer that sits within the, the curriculum that's already there. We're trying to get students to think a little bit wider. How can we select certain materials? How can we um, undertake certain steps or functions that we're currently doing in our day-to-day, -day, but reducing that carbon footprint? Thinking about that wider environment. Are those materials being delivered over? Are they being shipped over? Why can't we grow those materials here or produce them here? Are there alternatives, for example? So I think it's very, very important for students to start challenging themselves and being critical in their material selection, but also how they actually apply those materials into their projects. Thinking about carbon impact um, for, for, for everyone. I think for everyone who's now kind of my age, none of us have an experience without climate change being a part of our lives. None of us remember a time that that wasn't on the news. It's, it's just so key for us. We don't want to make stuff that we think hurts like our home, you know, our earth our planet. We've grown up with this so much that it can just feel a bit impossible to tackle. And having your tutor say to you like, no, you don't need to do everything. You need to look at this and this and this can make it a manageable task. What does actually make up a material? Where does it come from? Where does it go afterwards? It's making something that feels very impossible manageable. This project is a, is a way to highlight the, the best practice we're doing in the school across the disciplines and then how that can be promoted across the university and indeed promoted outside the university. And they will take that knowledge, that perspective, that expertise out into the world in their employment, in the entrepreneurial things that they get involved in and in their daily lives and that's got to be of benefit to everybody.